hello friends uh, welcome to my youtube channel on advanced excel in today's video we are going to see a trick by which we can transpose or uh, unstack a data written in rows uh, across the columns okay uh, but before that uh, one very important thing i am giving a link of uh, this excel file in the description box so that uh, you know first you can download that excel file open it play the video and then uh, practice uh, along with me so let's uh, begin this now we want to transpose this data which is written in rows across the columns okay and we can achieve it in four different ways the last thing uh, that is using offset is probably the short, uh, shortest and um, the most uh, sweet way of uh, achieving the result but uh, i'll go in a chronological order so first way to do it is by using our conventional copy paste and uh, paste special value uh, option so I'll say control C sorry control C okay and here is uh, where I want uh, that data to get uh, transport and right click paste special and E4 transpose and enter okay and we'll repeat the same thing for all the employees now this data is something like this there are four rows for each employee so it's a name then department then designation and ctc again name department designation ctc and uh, that's how it is for, uh, running for the six employees so first way of doing it is copy paste special and using the transport of op uh, transpose option that is the first thing second thing is now I don't know how many of you are aware about this particular function and that function is transpose itself okay now excel has this function of transpose but it's an array function so usually when we write any function says sum or anything we simply start writing like uh, this isn't it but that is not the case with transpose because it's an array function let me show you how it works so as we all know there are four records for each employee name department uh, designation and CTC so I'm going to select these rows where I want uh, that data to get transpose and I'll say is equal to transpose I'll select the array and close parenthesis and because it's an array function we all know array for array you have to press control shift and enter control shift and enter okay so here is the second way of uh, 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 no like uh, transposing that data into columns but uh, again it's a uh, no like uh, both these ways are kind of a long cut and you can uh, do this only when no the size is, is around say 50 or 100 employees not when uh, no employees are say 6000 employees and uh, if you are trying to do it uh, when the size is say 6000 or plus then i am very sure you will be sitting in the office till your next birthday and we don't want that to happen okay so the coming to third using trans uh, transpose uh, array function with filter now we know how to use trans uh, transpose so let's see uh, can we have a shortcut where that no we can use this function and simply uh, write it once and copy it to all cells uh, in this particular data if you can see that there are four rows for each employee so i am going to use row function here I am keeping this uh, result of transpose as, as it is. I'll say is equal to rows, only row, and control enter. I am copying it down. Okay, and now because we are having four rows for each employee, I am selecting this range again. I am pressing F2, home, and I am surrounding uh, this row with mod and we'll see the result of this row is divisible by 4 or not so my divisor is 4 i am uh, closing the parenthesis and control enter to copy it down now if you can see that there is a very unique uh, uh, thing about this particular result which uh, we have achieved with uh, row and mod and uh, the pattern is set to 3 0 1 again 2 3 0 1 so against each two we are having a new employee uh, beginning okay so for uh, wherever you are getting this two a record of the new employee is starting so we can use this to our advantage now we will simply use filter okay we we'll come here we'll set two 
and we will simply copy this uh, transpose to rest of the employees here it is so this is the third way of uh, uh, you know like uh, using this transpose along with uh, along with filter and uh, this transpose that data across the columns but again you can use this uh, feature only when you know, the data size is small say 100 or 200 employees not again as i said 6000 or 5000 or 10000 employees so again this is not going to work okay so these three ways they are still long cut so i have covered this 1 2 3 i am pressing control 5 the best way or the best shortcut is using offset and uh, those of you who have not seen my video on offset i want you to see that video because that video is is a base for this particular uh, trick so how can how we can use offset i am saying is equal to offset now let me just press control a to use that uh, function wizard now my reference is going to be this so this is my starting point all my data is in column number a isn't it so i am pressing f4 three times to block the column but allow the rows to uh, scroll now here is a trick what i want is we want the data which is written in the rows to spill across the columns so when the offset is asking for this rows condition i am using column function here c o l u m n i open parenthesis and close so basically now it is giving me two as a result so we ha we have begun from here that is a1 and now 2 so it is bringing me to say 1 2 so hr department so it is okay right now just uh, will uh, finish this function now i don't i don't want to move any column so i am giving zero and this height and width argument they are optional and i have said whenever you are uh, uh, getting that surrounded uh, brackets uh, in any of the functions that uh, things are optional and you can simply skip it or in this offset you can give one one it is okay either way you can do so i am just clicking okay here now it is giving me hr department because it is beginning uh, that thing from here and then one and two and it is fetching hr and it is giving me that hr over here because the result of this column is two not one it has to be one isn't it if i press f9 you realize okay so what i am going to do is i will just say control z and I will subtract one from here and control enter control C enter ok so now you can copy this say control C control V control V and so on but again it will it may take a lot lot of time uh, if that data size is big so we want something which will say that if this uh, particular data it, whenever it is beginning with the employee name you uh, invoke that uh, offset function otherwise give it uh, give me blank okay so i am simply keeping this first record as it is and uh, we are going to use the same logic of uh, row and mod over here so i have selected this i am keeping this b2 cell selected pressing f2 here we'll say if tab i am saying mod again i am opening uh, uh, the parenthesis again i am saying row open and close parenthesis so uh, the row function is going to give to warrior and comma 4 so whether the result of this row function is divisible by 4 and we know that uh, every instance where we are getting 2 uh, the record for new employee is beginning so i am asking are you equal to 2 and if uh, this thing is equal to 2 then invoke invoke this offset so comma offset else give me blank so double quotation mark and uh, let's uh, try to figure out uh, whether this thing is giving us the right thing we want, want to have i am pressing f9 here true so i think uh, we are on the right track i am coming to the end of this function i will complete parenthesis and control enter okay and for this ctc if you want to prefix it with uh, dollar simply select this column and the shortcut key is to prefix uh, currency symbol is control shift and 4 and having done that simply copy it and it's over did you see so it it took me not more than one minute to 
do this transpose and even if your employees uh, employees are running into say 6 or a 10 or a 50000 you can simply use this offset along with if mod and row to transpose that data across the column okay and uh, again i am uh, coming back to this offset just a little uh, this column the reason for using column are two reasons basically first is because our data uh, is in rows and we want that data to be spill across the columns i am using that column function that is the first reason and the second reason is i want that uh, function to be incremental to its right okay so it is something like this is equal to column control enter to we want something like this in, inside the offset so we have used column and what we have done is we have simply reduced one okay so it uh, brings out that uh, name hr uh, name then department then designation and the ctc across this column so friends uh, this is how you can uh, uh, use uh, uh, this offset as a wonderful uh, you no know, like wonderful way out to transpose uh, the data so this brings me to the end of this video if you have liked this video please give me a thumbs up also leave comment if you know any other way of uh, you no know, like achieving this same same result and uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that uh, you are notified about my up up uh, upcoming videos thanks a lot take care bye